Oh, hi. It's your friend Sam back in front of the camera. We are due for a market update and there's been a lot going on. So that's what I want to do. And I'm going to do my best to get to the point because there is a point. So I could show you the stats from the previous month. I could tell you how there was another significant jump in inventory, which is a good thing and continuation of a trend we've been seeing. I could show you how uh, median and average home prices are basically flat in the Denver Metro and have actually dropped a little bit. And that was another thing we were kind of expecting and more evidence that we're moving into a more balanced market, still a seller's market, but more balanced than it has been. And that's all well and good, but really the big news, especially this week, the week I'm recording this, is the jump in mortgage interest rates. So mortgage rates have been rising for months and it's something we've all been really waiting for because regardless if you're a buyer or seller, I mean, yes, those crazy low rates are great for buyers, but they made the market so stiff because it was flooded with buyers. It was really, really hard to get into a home. And if you're a home buyer, you know that. So when they rose into the fours and even into the low fives, we were all like, okay, this is what we expected to happen, what we knew had to happen eventually. And while it happened a little faster than a lot of us expected, it was like, okay, yes, we asked for this, so here we are. But now rates have risen even higher than that into the sixes, and in some cases, well into the sixes. The actual rate you get depends on a lot of different factors. So it's gone past, okay, we're getting into a more balanced market condition, and to the point where some people, especially people in mortgage, are sounding alarms. Whoa, this is way too high, way too fast. So mortgage rates are based on a lot of factors, mainly what the Fed is doing and what the bond yield is and a whole bunch of other stuff that doesn't really matter to our conversation. And to be honest, is often over my head. So my job here is to tell you what's going on and what's likely to happen and what it means in terms of real estate. So with this big jump in interest rates, it has actually affected the buyer pool significantly. In fact, mortgage applications are down about 50% from the same time last year. That's a huge, huge number. So fewer people applying for mortgages, fewer people are gonna be trying to buy houses. And it's understandable because rising rates, when they rise this far, this fast, are having a huge impact on home affordability. We all know that home prices have risen rapidly. And the thing was always, well, the mortgage rate is still so low, it's still somewhat affordable. That is no longer true. So with the appreciation we've seen in this market and in many markets across the nation, and now the higher interest rates, we are seeing not a crisis, but a much different picture in terms of home affordability. And it's much harder for some buyers to afford the home they want, especially first time home buyers. In fact, just based on the hike in interest rates, homes are now 25% less affordable on average than last year. It's gonna cost you 25 more percent to buy a home just based on the rates going up. So, okay, based on these factors, mortgage applications way down, um, affordability also having a tough time, that's gonna lead us to a more balanced market, right? Well, to some degree, yes, but what does that mean? A lot of people are saying, whoa, based on all these factors, we're due for a big swing, not just a shift, a swing, all the way over to a buyer's market. And maybe, but I don't see it that way. Here's the deal. Things are starting to balance out, but as we sit right now, we are still in a seller's market in Denver, Colorado. And anytime you're out there on the weekend, seeing homes, writing offers, you can see that. Are we going way over asking like we used to be? No, we're not, but it's still strong. Multiple offer situations are still common and the best places are still selling quick. And when you look in the future and try to prognosticate, which everyone wants to do, the thing about these mortgage rates, you have to remember, it's going to affect sellers too. So it's gonna affect the inventory that comes on the market because many sellers, the majority, are also home buyers. You're selling your home to then buy another home because you have to live somewhere. Uh, you know, unless you have cash or there's a big life event or something else, you're gonna need a mortgage for that new home. So, so many of these sellers are locked in at these crazy low rates or just normal low rates. I mean, even if you're locked in at four and a half from 10 years ago, well, to go from that to six and a half right now isn't gonna look very good, especially with where home prices are. Many people are still gonna do it, but the point is these rates are gonna affect sellers too. So it's going to prevent as much inventory from coming on the market as otherwise would. So while we are moved towards a more balanced market, I don't know what that means, and it seems unlikely that it means all of a sudden this is going to be a buyer's market. 
I did a video a couple weeks ago about are we headed for a crash? You can check that out. All we know is the factors that are necessary for a real estate crash. And spoiler alert, most of them are not necessary right now. What's gonna happen with the larger economy? I don't know. But when you look at home affordability uh, getting much tougher, the fact that you know a loaf of bread is $8 now, gas is a trillion dollars a gallon, it does look like we are having economic struggles and headed into some sort of recession as a nation. But again, I don't know what that means and I don't have a crystal ball and neither do any of these other people who would like to tell you they do. So, okay, what does this mean in terms of real estate? Well, if you are a buyer, if you are in the market for a home and have been for some time, you'll want to talk to your lender. You want to run those numbers again and update your pre-approval because there are going to be some changes with these interest rates and see what now the affordability looks like in terms of monthly payment. Um, and you may have to adjust your expectations. Should you wait to buy? No, because again, there is no evidence that a crash is on the horizon and homes are still gonna keep appreciating even if it's at a lower rate than it has been. And that, that's been in the cards the entire time. We, we've been due an appreciation slowdown. So you shouldn't wait to buy, especially since, yes, the rates aren't good right now, but when they go down, you can just refi. That's the point. So as long as you can still afford your home right now, you're gonna start building equity and you are going to be able to adjust that rate if and when it does go down. And the thinking is that it will and has to at some point. If you're a seller, it is still a good time to sell. Like I said before, the market is still very strong and the fact that the rising rates for the seller side is gonna lock some of this inventory in place and not bring it online, that is a good spot for you to be in. So until further notice, it is a great time to list your home and to access that equity that you've built over the last few years. I know I'm always an optimist, but the bottom line is don't freak. A lot of people are making projections and they tend to look like this. The end is near but nobody knows where things are going. It's still a good time to get into real estate, whether you're buying or selling, it's still a good time to do a transaction. And even if things do get tougher, there are opportunities there too. There are always opportunities in real estate. It's just making sure you're employing a sound strategy. And a lot of the time that strategy is when everyone else is zigging, you need to zag. That's how people can make a lot of money, even in down markets. But that's a whole nother topic that we will talk about at a different time. Thanks for watching as always. Here is the video I mentioned about whether a crash is coming. If you're interested in that topic, go ahead and check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you soon.